Hey what's going on guys, so today I'm going to be going through a few of my daily tasks, uh, the first one being cooking. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> what's up with his arms? Oh, I wonder if, wonder if I cook like that as well. Alright, so my first task is just cook rock tail, so hopefully I'm going to stick on my cooking gauntlets first. Um, cooking gauntlets. And hopefully I won't burn too many of these. Alright, so first things first, I've had a considerable amount of comments about uh, the recent gambling clans and things like that. And I actually had a message today that I read. I'm not going to read out his name. It wasn't, I got to say the nicest of messages. He wasn't like uh, expressing his concerns. He was pretty much kind of straight up flaming. And uh, because my roommate has started up a dice clan, as probably most of you guys know, and he basically said that by living with him, I'm supporting gambling in RuneScape, <laughs> which is kind of, I mean, just take a second and think about how stupid that sounds. I mean, what what do you expect me to do? If my, if my roommate decides to open up a dice clan, do you expect me to just go, all right, okay, I'm going back to Scotland, you know, <laughs> let me just book the next flight home. It's not really, it's not really that simple. And it's also just kind of funny timing for it all to happen because the first episode of Silent Core Undercover uh, was actually on gambling on RuneScape and I've been working on that for just over a month now. So I don't think many of you guys actually saw that video when it went up. It was only up for like an hour and then it got taken down because it had the wrong intro or something on it. So I think they're going to be putting it back up this Friday and uh, I'll definitely let you guys know in a quick link video when that's up. But basically in that video I go kind of undercover behind Dice Clans, just look at how much money is being made, what uh, what gambling methods are currently being used. And then I also go through the history of gambling, so we can have a look at some of the old gambling methods that have actually, that Jagex have actually patched in to stop people from dicing, you know, like dice bags and those skull balls and, you know, the video will go into detail about all of that. But I do find it kind of weird that Jagex have just sort of half patched it and, uh, I mean, it's like they don't want it there, but they do want it there. It's like a lot of things in RuneScape. I think luring used to actually be against the rules under the item scamming rule, so you could actually report people for... Uh, luring you into the w the wilderness under false pretenses, and uh, whereas now I don't think I don't think it's against the rules anymore. I may be wrong though. So while I was making this gambling vid, I was actually pretty blown away at just some of the numbers some of the people were coming up with because I was I was asking people just straight up who are you know hosts and dice clans, you know how much money are you making, and it's a lot of freaking money. So just back to the fact that my roommate started up a gambling clan, and. Uh, you know, there's nothing, you know, if my roommate wants to do something, there's nothing much I could really do about that. I mean, it's his decision. When he when he first told me about it, I did express my concerns about it. I didn't know if it would be the best idea for him, for his YouTube channel. And i got to be honest, when he first told me about it, I actually was kind of interested in maybe getting involved. I thought it sounded like a good idea with all the, how, just how he basically pitched it with all the YouTubers coming together to make a clans kind of thing. But I didn't really think about the other aspect. Like, I don't really find planting flowers very entertaining nor do I, I mean I wouldn't want to put a lot of my time into doing that and then not have any time to make videos like I'd rather just put all my time into making videos and I, I guess putting that into my YouTube channel because at least now I've got something to show for my time like if I look at back at my YouTube channel I've got nearly, I think nearly 400 videos uploaded and that is a hell of a lot of time on each video that I've spent, you know, preparing, editing and all that stuff and if I say spent that time gambling on RuneScape yeah I'd probably have a lot of money but I don't really have anything to show for that, I don't think. So I've got to just bury five frost bones. I guess that's pretty easy. So I hope you guys can understand kind of where I'm coming from. You know, it's just, uh, it's kind of like if my roommate starts smoking weed. If, if he wants to do that, it's his own decision. I can't really, you know, stop him. I'm not going to fight him about it. I'm not going to, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not his mom. I'm not going to tell him, you know, what to do. So hopefully you guys can understand, you know, where I'm coming from. And, uh, you know, all I've really got left in RuneScape to do is get the completion escape. And all the money in RuneScape isn't going to help me get that completion escape. I'm still going to have to grind out all those hours at uh, Livid Farm and Temple Trekking and that kind of stuff. So thank you very much to this guy for letting me use his DX. Thank you, Penguin Fact. I'm now able to do my uh, my U task. <laughs> I need to chop some U logs, so I'm going to head to Camelot. But first of all, I'm going to repair all of my uh, Barrows items and just get them repaired. And then... Uh, just to try and save some bank space. I did get a full bank a few days ago, which was kind of annoying. It's just getting so full of Squeal of Fortune junk, mostly. I really need to start using that Convert to Coin option. Um, where do I repair this? Oh my. Over here, I think it is. So, 
pretty much because bonus XP weekend's coming up, I've noticed a lot of stuff's going up, so I just took this as a good opportunity to just sell all of the herbs and just all of the random junk I've got in my uh, in my bank for a good price, so it means I could just sell it all kind of quickly. Well, I can repair all these. 72k. And there we go. That was pretty easy. <laughs> just going to head through here and go get some yew logs down to the south here. You know, it's been so long since I've chopped a yew tree, I, they didn't look anything like this. <laughs> Brings back some memories of when I used to, first of all, make money when I became a member. I wonder how much profit chopping yew logs is now. Maybe like 2k profit an hour. In fact, I remember when I used to wood cut. I used to have a my woodscape window at the bottom, the bottom right, and then I used to have a film or a movie or a YouTube video at the top left. And sometimes I'd get so uh, involved into that YouTube video that I'll forget that I'm even wood cutting. And then I'll look back, and some kids made off of my axe head or or the tree end will be waving its arms, and I'll have broken my axe against its face. <laughs> so I've actually already started work on the second Silent Core undercover episode, and it's going to be to do with botting. And uh, you guys may remember if you've been subscribed to me for a while, I did make a few botting videos before where I, I think it was after a bot nuke and I looked into every single bot that was currently around in RuneScape and just looked at if it was still working and a few of them were actually still working after the last bot nuke. So it's going to be a similar type of documentary video. So I think I pitched this idea to you guys a little while ago about me starting up a website where um, I can, you know, feature polls and stuff when there's a new RuneScape update. I can, you know, not only make a video about the update but also have a poll so you guys can, I guess, publicly vote what you think about that update or what you think about that change in the game. Because I know Jagex don't ever do sort of update polls where you can vote about a, you know, a particular update. So it would be kind of interesting to just see what everyone together thinks of that update. So I actually had a guy contact me that seemed really experienced with web design and he was supposed to start work on the website and then he just didn't log in for three weeks and I haven't heard from him since. So I guess if any of you guys are experienced with web design or uh, know somebody that is, uh, feel free to you know get in contact with me, send me a YouTube PM or something like that. And I have no idea how many PMs I can expect from you guys, how many of you guys are interested in web design or know anything about it, but um, you know, don't, don't just send me a message like, hey, I can make you a website, or just something along the lines of that. If you really are interested, please you know send me quite a lengthy message, tell me some stuff about yourself so I can you know get to know you because I'm going to be trusting you with a website and uh, let me know how much time you'll have per week to work on the website and also link me to some examples of you know websites that you currently own or that you've made the designs for or something like that. That would be really really awesome so I'm going to go ahead and chop the rest of these U-logs and uh, just see what I get as a reward. I'll probably get like five magic logs back as a reward. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.